Hey guys, this is Camplified and in this video we will talk about methods of preparation of alkyl halide. Let's start. The first method is when ethylene is treated with HBr, addition reaction take place and you will get ethyl bromide as your product. In place of HBr you can use HCl, HI also. Second method is when ethanol, when ethanol is treated with HBr, substitution reaction. The first one is, the first reaction was addition reaction, second one is substitution reaction will take place and you will get ethyl bromide and water will be removed as byproduct. Now order of reactivity for halogen acid is HI greater than HBr greater than HCl, you can also remember that. Next, the third method is when ethanol is treated with bromine in presence of phosphorus, you get ethyl bromide. Fourth, when ethane is treated with any halogen in presence of sunlight, in presence of sunlight or UV rays, you get ethyl bromide and HBr as byproduct. In our case, we are getting ethyl bromide. If bromine, if in place of bromine chlorine is there, you will get ethyl chloride. Now, fifth method. <coughs> now, this is an extra information. Uh, since we are take, taking a look at the methods of preparation of alkyl halide. If any alkene, in our case methane, if methane is treated with chlorine in presence of ultraviolet light, you are supposed to get four different products. Chloromethane, dichloromethane, trichloro and tetrachloromethane. Now, if you take in place of methane, you take ethane, CH3, CH3. Now, the possibility of product is in, moved from 4 to 6 because there are 6 hydrogens in this case. So, whenever you are treating any alkane with chlorine in chlorine or bromine in presence of UV light, the number of product will increase according to the number of hydrogens. Remember that. Now, when what will happen when you treat an alkane with iodine? Whenever an alkane, in our case methane is treated with iodine, you get alkyl halide that is methyl iodide and HI but this is a reversible reaction the above reaction is reversible and HI formed has to be destroyed with an oxidant like HIO3 we have to use HIO3 to remove HI formed in this reaction so that the reaction can move in forward direction otherwise these two will react again to give iodine why because I2 is more stable I2 uh, iodine prefer iodine prefers to make I2 so remember this extra information let's move next now the sixth method is when ethane is treated with sulfuryl chloride SO2Cl2 in presence of sunlight or UV rays, UV light, you get ethyl chloride and sulfur dioxide and HCl. Now these are gaseous, SO2 and HCl are gaseous, so you will get ethyl chloride. Seventh method is when a Grignard reagent, this is important, I will make separate videos on Grignard reagent also. When Grignard reagent is treated with bromine, what you are going to get is ethyl bromide and MgBrCl. One bromine will take place in uh, attack at carbon and MgCl will take the second bromine and removed as MgBrCl. Right? This is the seventh method. This is really important. Grignard reagent plays a very important role in organic chemistry. You will find Grignard reagent almost in every topic. Let's move to the next. Now eighth one. When ethanol is treated with PCl5, you will get ethyl chloride and phosphorus oxychloride and HCl. Now remember that only PCl5 is used. PBr5 and Pi5. These two are unstable and are not used. Remember this. So only PCl5 will give ethyl chloride or alkyl halide. Next is ethanol when treated with PBr3. Now in this case we are using three, three halogen atoms. So, PBr3 is stable, PBr3 is stable but PBr5 is not, right? So, in place of PBr3 you can use PCl3, then also you will get alkyl halide. In our case, what we are going to, what we are doing is when three molecules of ethanol are treated with PBr3, you will get ethyl bromide and phosphorus acid, right? So, just remember that P PBr5 and Pi5 are not stable, but PBr3 is stable. Now comes two important reactions, Darzen's process and Hunsdicker process. Now the first one is Darzen's process. First of all, before we start, this is the best method. 
this is the best method for the preparation of alkyl halide remember that why this is the best method because alkyl halide so formed the byproducts so2 and hcl formed are in gaseous state so they are removed on their own now in this reaction what happens is when ethanol is treated with socl2 not so2cl2 not sulfuryl chloride this is thionyl chloride when ethanol is treated with thionyl chloride in presence of pyridine and a base <coughs> any base you will get ethyl chloride as your final product and these two will be removed as in the form of gas right now the 11th one is hans dicker's reaction now in this reaction what is the reactant that we are using we are using silver salt of acetic acid in presence of carbon tetrachloride at 80 degrees celsius with bromine we are treating it now we will get ethyl bromide and carbon dioxide in the form of gaseous state the carbon dioxide will be removed and this will be your precipitate agbr will give you a precipitate for hans dicker reaction remember that this method is only used for the preparation of bromides only used for the preparation of bromides uh, alkyl chlorides are not formed and alkyl iodides are also not formed why alkyl iodides are not formed because alkyl iodide will give ester alkyl iodide will give ester so only bromine is used for preparation of alkyl halide that is our ethyl bromide so in this reaction remember these two exceptions alkyl chloride are also not the alkyl chlorides are formed but they are not stable uh, in similar way if iodine is used you will get ester so only the silver salt of acetic acid is used for the preparation of bromides alkyl bromides right this is the fact that you should know about hans dicker reaction right let's move to the next now this is also a named reaction pinkelstein reaction in what 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 happens in this one is halogen exchange take place silver fluoride when treated with ethyl iodide now this is our alkyl halide alkyl halide is giving alkyl halide but a different one Flor fluorine will take place of iodine and iodine will take place of fluorine this is halogen exchange reaction and ethyl fluoride is formed and silver iodide is formed so this is another method this is a named reaction that's why you should remember it last one is when ethylamine is treated with nitrosyl chloride you get ethyl chloride nit n2 as gas and water right so these are the 13 methods of preparation which i was able to find in case of alkyl halide this will be it for today's video thank you for watching